This episode of The Map is brought to you by the STJFL and its major partner, Crips, the Master Baker. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome down here to the den once again for this intriguing clash between Kingborough Tigers and the Lauderdale Bombers. Under 14A is the competition and it's going to be a beauty. There we have the ladder there, as you can see, Sandy Bay out on top on 46, Glenorchy 44, Lauderdale 42. So we can see how crucial it is for them today, right down the bottom. Stout defender and he got it going his direction, but only went as far as Mitchell Brow. That's a clever kick indeed, finding Aiden Huxtable. Huxtable kick inside 40. They're on here, the Tigers a foot race here now. Hugh Dixon's been likely, left foot is good. It's clever. Well, you're right though, Flash, about some players and their body size. Hugh Dixon is becoming a man now, number 14. Bailey Jones, he works the angles beautifully, pumps the fist, and kicks his first for the day. They are sitting on the bottom of the ladder, so it's certainly a game expected Lauderdale will come in and win. And as it shows, if they can get some goals, everyone's got a man to call from the coaches from the sidelines. This game has just intensified a bit again. Punch from behind there was good from Josh Townsend going forward and the Tigers, they snap a goal. Mitch Brower from nothing. Doing well, Townsend. It's a good run to carry here, Plunkett. They get it going forward and did and that was some courage, Thomas Plunkett, he was unlucky not to get a free kick on that occasion. Some great one-on-ones happening in this match. Hooker was good though. His direction is certainly Musket who picked up the footy. Left foot around the corner. That's a good mark taken. And we'll have a shot on goal here by young Kerslake again. Powerful young man. Kerslake kicks a goal. And the Bombers stretch it out to 11 points again. 35 metres. This is pivotal. Three quarter time siren is gone. Kane with a chance after the siren to really get the Tigers going. And he does so. He kicks a beauty and he brings the margin back to five points. And look at him get around him. The Tigers with a growl to go. To the action. Hope you're enjoying the Duff TV production here, STJFL footy. At its very, very best. And the Tigers going forward here. They'd love a go here. They can be in front. And they are in front. Thomas Plunkett out of the air. He's been good this second half. Luttrell, he's kicked forwards, a good one too. And lands here with Mulligan. Mulligan now. Kick the full four, they need a mark and they get one. They do indeed from McGuinness. He's gonna go back very quickly. He'll bring the margin back to four points. Ball at the turf. Chance here for the Tigers, they'd love a stealer. Plunkett buttering up. Left footer around the corner. How's it gonna sit? Lord and I working hard. The Tigers in numbers though. They get a little handball out. Doing well with Dixon. Kick on goal for the sealer. And Dixon does it. Okay, that was uh, fantastic work there and good pace, but Ford picks it up. Driving it back in now towards Campbell. Campbell lines that one up. He yarches the back and it comes back a little bit right from left. Beautiful goal there, didn't he? Judge the conditions perfectly done. Nicely picked up there by Holm. He's a big, as I said, the big barrel-chested man. He's leading from the front, but it comes out back out to Smith. Screws the ball back in. Up they go. Oh, what a courageous mark! You wouldn't see a better mark anywhere of football. And it's going to be the free kick here now to Dylan Backhouse. Uh, Backhouse, yet again, one of that modern phenomena duff. I've mentioned sometimes in the coverage, those skins underneath. Uh, give me your, uh, your value of the skin duff. 
Uh, waste of time. Waste of time, there waste it is, time. courtesy of uh, Martin Duffy. Of course, if the Skins want to sponsor the great man Duff, I'm <laughs> sure he'll come back and say they're wonderful, they keep your fleet afoot, they aid in recovery, and they'll be fantastic. But as a parent having to buy things for your kids, Duff, get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly does, and by gee, Duff, the towel that we're in, isn't it breezy? Oh. It's just starting to uh, oh, wave and sway just slightly, ladies and gentlemen. Getting a fractionally seasick up here as a Harry Garth. Gardner pulls it back from deep in the angle. Harry Gardner, that's a great goal. We've got a game on our hands here at the Brighton Complex with Blakey Smith picking the ball up, drives it towards the goals yet again. And it's another one, Duff. Oh. Hey, we've got a rip tingler going on here at the Brighton Oval. Let's cross to the scores, courtesy of Crip the Master Baker. 7 5 47. That's two goals in about 20 seconds to the Crows. 10 8 68. The Crows have gone to sleep. Well, dear, oh dear. That's certainly been a big injection as uh, Holmes has got that ball then. And he's driven it long towards that dangerous area. The Crows are under the pump now, Duff as working very hard is Lewis, goes back around, does a shimmy, back towards the goal, it's coming back in, and they've marked it on the line, Duff! <laughs> They're going to have another shot on goal! Oh, I what. I haven't had a breath, you and that's three goals within a minute, Duff! Yeah. Blake Smith has snagged another one, and I can't believe what's happening, unfolding before our eyes, Duff! Let's get the score, courtesy of Crips the Master Bake. You could talk underwater, Hop. As uh, the Crows putting it back into this dangerous area. Running back now was Turner. Couldn't pick it up. Nice play by Backhouse. Rolling. Wouldn't they love a goal here, Duff? Opportunity. Uh, Shimmy going over the top. And that's just what they wanted. Was pumping the air. Brilliant play there by Blair Wood, Duff. <laughs> options look forward. This goes for a real precision chip kick and it's perfect to Angus Lockley who's off and running. He's had one bounce here, he's had nearly, well he thought about two in fact, he got a handball and boy a shot on goal. And it's the first goal I think to to one of the young bombers. Look at the high fives here, we're talking about Blake Bonicchio, he kicked a point there earlier up to the full forward area, there's leg speed here coming from Lockley, did well first to contest. Managed to release a handball. He's got the runners out on the outside. Oh. Got the running carry now from young Angus Fisher. Did well. Kick in board was clever. At the side there, doing well. There was young, gee, was he doing really well? Young Whelan. Oh. First out of one. He'll go on that left foot. He's a booming kick. Kick forward. Good mark. Not taken. Ball at the fall. Numbers here now with Phillips. He kicked a couple of He'll weave. He'll twist. He'll turn. Kick the full forward. Can't take the mark. Turner's still there with a chance. He weaves along the boundary line. He'll try and go check side. One behind. Doing where there was Colby Saltmarsh. His kick forward. Turner steamed out. Did well. Get it on the bounce. Turner with pace. Got around one. Got around two. Touches it down. He wants a shot on goal. He needs to kick it now. And he does. Turner kicks a very good goal. So this man here, Campbell Whelan, has been very, very impressive today. He's a left footer. A thumping kick. This is no exception. Whelan pumping it forward. Phillips tried to take the mark. Chance here for young Geordie Grant on the pack. Phillips stole it. Did well. Weaved around one. He'll snap it. Goal! It's another goal to Phillips. He's very clever around goals. This one's a little bit. Look at the courage from both players. They hit the ground hard. Hitting it hard on the turf was Johansson. Inboard to Fisher. Fisher runs to 30, steers it home for a goal. I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to my, my daily, daily bread, bread Crips Master Loaf. Be it white, wholemeal or nine grain, I will enjoy freedom 
from artificial preservatives. In a bread crafted from pure Tasmanian flour. And we love how it tastes. I will rise to the occasion. Munching on only the freshest loaves. Baked daily at Cripps since 1878. I will proudly fly the Cripps flag. In a toast to this great nation. We call Tasmania. Upon this, I swear. Cripps Master Loaf. Tasmanians swear by it.